Good morning all, my name is Ryan Olson with White Bone Creations. It's been a while since I put up a skull video because I've been trying to dance around this new YouTube regulation. At first, like most of us, I took it real personal. YouTube is just targeting sportsmen. They don't want this noble lifestyle to be out there. I don't think that's what's going on. I honestly believe that YouTube is just trying to regulate the uh, the content out there that is offensive and in the general public it may be offensive because they don't understand it. I'm not in this for money. I never have been in this for money. So today I'm just going to roll it back, give you an old school white bone creation, skinning, cleaning, power washing, upbeat sounds, the whole nine yards, respectfully cleaning an animal that I harvested. This is the first albino ground squirrel I've ever seen. As part of a management practice out here, we shoot as many ground squirrels as possible. It's hard to keep up with them. They carry a lot of disease. They create holes in the ground. Cattle break their legs, and they're a nuisance animal. They're a, a, a constantly replenishing resource, and so it's kind of fun to every once in a while have one turn into what would be kind of a trophy animal. The uniqueness about it is fun. We'll, uh, I'll save the tail, make it into a keychain, and. Uh, Maybe we'll even do a quick skull video on this little guy. That animal has nothing special than a color variation of his fur. So take a look. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for hanging in there through the YouTube struggles. You should know by now, but I'm going to skin this head. So if you don't want to see it, turn it off. Otherwise, everybody, you know the drill. Get that hide off. With the hide off, we're gonna fill a small pot full of water, put the skull in it, and bring it to a boil. At a full rolling boil, turn it down to a simmer and give it five minutes. Then pull it off, dump it out, and we're gonna power wash off the flesh. That little uh, ground squirrel is a, a ground squirrel of the year, meaning it's not, probably not quite a year old. Uh, very, very delicate. Can't give them much heat, can't give them much pressure. So I boiled it for maybe five minutes or so. Um, this is a little 1600 PSI power washer. I think I'll put the link to the description of this because I get a fair amount of questions about that. I'll put the link in the description to this power washer. Um, a little 110 electric. This is what this looks like right out of the boil. Can you see the dry part on the back of the head? So that, that, that skin split right there. That just tells me it's time to start washing. You can see it's starting to push out a little bit of brain um, and it's starting to shrink up around the nose. So now it's time to just start washing. They're just gonna blow off all this stuff. I wanna be real careful because there's not much here. Let's get to washing. All right, take that power washer and wash into every hole in every orifice. Anywhere there's meat and tissue, make it go away and for that last comment every nook and cranny gotta go okay so i just i boiled for five and i power washed for two or three be real delicate with your hands. I'm always using the biggest fan nozzle there is. That fan nozzle is like, uh, I think it's 60 degrees or something like that. So here is that skull washed, okay? I didn't do anything but boil it and wash it. No soap, no OxyClean, no nothing. And if you are the type that just likes natural colored skulls, if you just set that thing up right now on the shelf, in a couple hours that's going to be dry and beautiful plenty good to keep in your home now there's little bits of flesh on it here and there but i'm going to boil this in peroxide and all that stuff is going to fall right off so five minute skull project if you don't have ground squirrels in your area prairie dogs uh rather unique way to say prairie dogs <laughs> prairie dogs um prairie dogs ground squirrels rock chucks whatever you got in your area those small rodents rats 
same principles you can try your hand at skull work at pretty much no charge if you can't get it done check it out get your skull skin it take it home boil it for a few minutes then run it to the car wash bring it back home skull for the counter let's whiten All right, I've got it back down in the White Bone Creations Peroxide Mix. Now, I promised you a new product I was working on. I've been working on it actually for a year. I've had a film done for like two months. It's definitive, I'm sold, it's the product. I'm just waiting to have my website done. I have this super generic website that I just put up, but I wanna put the links to the description in there and I'll put them on the website. I want all that stuff to be clean before I start sharing. So there's no gray areas. The biggest confusion is, is this peroxide piece that I talk about. So it's coming. It'll be within a week. The website's almost done. Um, so this is the peroxide mix. I'm going to bring it to a quick boil. It's whitening. And then I'm going to pull it out, take off any of the loose little bits, set it in the sun to dry. Uh, check this out. You want to see something awesome? My daughter, my wife has all these pictures, family pictures around the house, naturally, as any family would. And uh, my daughter one day just decided to doctor up all the pictures and then put them back. Uh, check this out. I think it's freaking awesome. That's me and my wife. That's me and my kids and the wife. My gorgeous daughter. My gorgeous daughter and handsome son. That's me. It's me and my wife. That's too fun. Once the skull is dry, I give it a real thin coat of flooring mop and glow, and I super glue the jaw in place, and in 10 minutes, she's all done. All right, wrapping up the albino ground squirrel skull. Check this little dude out. I, uh, there's so much of the world that just thinks I'm just, just inconsiderate killer. But the truth is this little stump right here is the stump that we saw him on. And so I just cut it off kind of to keep him on it. I know it makes no sense. The animal's no longer with us, but uh, he was special. I was with my daughter when it all happened. So I'm gonna keep it just like that as, um, as a hay. I think it's cool. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time. As part of a management practice out here, we uh, we shoot as many ground squirrels. I'm gonna say ground squirrels. <laughs>